Hi, I'm Mike, the Thomas Man, where I talk about all things Thomas the Tank Engine. But today, I'll be focusing on Edward. Edward's origin from the very rare books, Sodor, Reading Between the Lines by Christopher Audrey, and The Island of Sodor, Its People, History, and Railways by the Reverend Dr. Audrey. So let's get to it. Welcome back. Picking up where we left off, we're going to read about Edward, the number two engine on the island of Sodor. In the last video, I explained how these books are so rare, and also how they exchange different details depending on the engine's backstory. While Thomas's backstory reads about the same from both books, Edward's is very different. We know the history of Edward's models used in the TV show. We know that Edward was the first character created by the Reverend W. Audrey before Thomas and made the appearance in the three railway engines. We're going to learn his origin story according to the Reverend W. Audrey himself. Let's begin. Edward's journey to Sodor was shorter than Thomas's, but they seem to have arrived at about the same time. He is a 440 of the large Siegel class, introduced on the Furnace Railway, which ran the Cumbrian coastline in 1896. Some say he came over the bridge from Barrow on official business, but couldn't somehow find his way back again. But the official story is that he was borrowed during a locomotive crisis and later bought, like Thomas, for a nominal sum. He has been extensively modified while on the island, and the theory that in the old days he had difficulty making steam is certainly not true now. He is in charge of the Brendam branch, which runs from a junction at Wellsworth, often described in the stories as Edward Station. None of Edward's original class have survived. And that was from Sodor Reading Between the Lines. However, according to The Island of Sodor, Its People, History, and Railways, Edward's origin story is condensed. This is what it reads. A 440 of uncertain ancestry, he was borrowed in 1915 from the Furnace Railway, but has since been so much rebuilt at Crovensgate as to obscure his origins. It is generally thought that he began life on the Furnace as one of their sharp, Stuart, larger seagulls of 1896. The Furnace found him to be a shy steamer and were not interested in getting him back. They sold him to the NWR for a nominal sum. The NWR, however, have, by careful maintenance, turned him into a reliable engine. So as you can see, both books have a different take on the history of the character. But now, as a special treat, let's read a poem from Railway Rhymes, a book we're all familiar with. But I'm not going to do it. I'm going to find somebody else to read the poem. No, sir. Not me. All right, so I'm looking for someone to read the poem on Edward. I just need to find someone with a nice voice. Oh, you. You. You look like you have a nice voice. Can you please read me this poem on Edward, please? And can you also read it into this microphone, please? Yes. Edward. Oh, Edward Blue, may I ride with you and do the things you've done? And see the sights of days and nights, and learn of work and fun? Despite your size, you are so wise, and also very true. I hope some day someone will say, I am like Edward Blue. And then I need, and, good, good. And, um, well, that's a wrap. If you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe, as there's always more Thomas content on the way. Henry is next, and I'll see you guys next time.